All right. We'll talk about that. All right. So today we're going to be talking about animals that should not exist. This is brought to you by myself, Julian, and Malcolm, all with PhDs in theoretical taxonomic sciences. And then our fac we, we would like to offer a special thanks to our faculty mentor, Ben, <laughs> who in fact does not have a PhD. <laughs> I'm supposed to tell them that. <laughs> All right, let's begin. Ooh. Mosquito. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> no, but like actually why? Like they just bite you and for what reason? Like did I give consent? No. Why do they fly? Do they deserve to fly? No. Not at all. Do you know how many times mosquitoes have bitten my ankles? Like it's great. How do you even scratch your ankle? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Mosquitoes are also responsible for spreading viruses and causing 725,000 deaths. <laughs> this is the coconut crab. <laughs> It is also cannibalistic. <laughs> when they're not eating Amelia, <laughs> they're eating themselves. This must have been a terrifying experience, as they're the size of a small dog, and I have the strongest pinch in the world. Is crab. Can't swim. Period. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> All right, next we have the goblin shark. First off, why does it exist? I don't know. Like, it has poor eyesight, and it can literally be four different colors. Pink, tan, white, and gray. Ew. <laughs> oh, my God. It also shrinks as it gets older. So, basically, it starts out as a normal shark when it is young, but then it grows up to be that monstrosity. <laughs> and also, they're dumb enough to eat garbage off the ocean floor. Yeah. So they should, they should definitely be dead, because they're also known as a living fossil. They're also so useless that they are the slowest shark. And they also typically live in deep waters, which makes them even more useless. So the name, the name is a bad start, okay? They're naked. It's pretty bad. Um, they also look kind of silly. I, I think they look like they want to say something really rude, um, but they're just too scared to do it. Um, and apparently, also, I should mention, when, when Kush was making this slide, doing research for this, Someone walked in and said in a horrified voice, Kush, what are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, they practice colo colonialism, um, which I know because someone who said they had a PhD said they saw it on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this next one looks so bad that we had to censor the image for you. Oh, <laughs> now, this is the Guida clam, and as you can see, <laughs> as you can see, it looks like a three foot long human reproductive organ. <laughs> and unfortunately, it acts like one too. <laughs> These things reproduce by releasing just their sperm and their eggs straight into our water. And that is not sanitary. <laughs> also, the oldest living one lived for 168 years. That's 100 years of its putting its sperm and eggs straight into our water. Get rid of them. <laughs> 
And our next one. When I tell you poodle moth, you picture a cute, fluffy dog, six legs, wings, all at once. But instead, you get whatever the hell that is. <laughs> 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 Okay, but these things are so good at hiding, we've only ever seen like two of them. Where are they at? What are they plotting? Look at that face. It's clearly planning to kill you. Kill them before they kill us. <laughs> Bears are... Um, bears... <laughs> guys, listen. <laughs> bears are wolves in sheep's clothing. That's what I like to say. <laughs> it, when you think about it, or you know, when you don't think about it, it's like, okay. <laughs> okay, that's, that's fine. But when you do think about it, these guys are just way too big. <laughs> Like, can you imagine, like, a dog the size of a freaking car and its head is, like, massive? <laughs> I mean, just have some stuff for scale, but I'll just... Maybe we should... We should... All right, we'll move on. <laughs> These are our references, so... But now we open the floor for questions. Any questions? <laughs> Majors of the presenters are because this is a biology That was on the first slide. It's true. Yeah, we, we have PhDs in theoretical taxonomic sciences. Yeah. <laughs> and our faculty mentor is. Just yeah, he's just there. <laughs> but, but he has done. He has done. Maryland? Yeah. <laughs> he, he has done applied pesticidology. Wow. <laughs> Yes. Quick question. What did what did you learn from the fourth source on there? Fourth, fourth source? <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about it. No, 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 no. This, this is Great obvious. Summary. Sea slug loses penis after so sex. Like, <laughs> grows back next day. <laughs> um, okay, so let's say it's a perfect world and all of these animals are going extinct, but you have to save one of them. Which one do you save? Oof. Honestly, the photo moth. <laughs> no, no, no. Those things are killing us, mosquitoes. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. All right, no more questions. questions. No more questions. All right, we out. All right.